unfortunately, not too long ago, King Vaughn was killed. Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, I see, I seen you kind of chimed in with some uh, opinions about mm -hmm. it and everything. Um, you know, one, one thing I noticed is that, you know, kind of like, it was kind of like a similarity between Tupac, you know, yeah, like for sure. the way that, you know, King Vaughn hit the dude mm -hmm. and, you know, then he got killed. I mean, it didn't quite happen like that with Tupac, but, you know, Tupac yeah, hit yeah. the dude and then later on that night, you know, he was killed and, you know, uh, King Vaughn's autopsy leaked, mm -hmm. you know, just like Tupac's. You know, so there's a few little similarities about yeah, yeah, all that. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, what do you think about everything? Um, I think that that it's just the uh, not the right people around them. You know what I mean? Um, you know, these dudes are making it with tremendous odds against them. You know what I mean? And the position that they take is like so rare, fool. Like these are you talking about real dudes? You know, real dudes with real real stripes and real reputations. You know what I'm saying? And they're so real, dog, that they, they're so real that without them even understanding, they never make the transition. And they never even allow people in their circle to help them make the transition. Because all they know is the hood shit, you know what I mean? All they know is this gangster shit. And they, I, I believe that certain people are very in love with being gangsters, you know what I mean? Like, I believe that to some people, it, it's, it's, their, it's their spirit, you know what I mean? Um, and I believe that King Bond was one of them, dog. And I think that... Um, Unfortunately, he didn't have the right people around him, the right influence, you know? Nobody was really telling him, like, bro, we can't move this way. Bro, you need to stop. You know what I mean? Like, you're too important. You know what I mean? Like, let us catch them fades, whatever. Like, let us do this shit. But then again, we go back to the gangbanging shit. You know what I mean? Um, tradition. Like, like, writers don't want nobody to pick their fights for them. Writers don't want, no, don't want to be protected. They want to protect themselves. You know what I'm saying? Fools that are with the business. So, um, yeah, um, dude was young, and I, I blame mostly that, you know, his lack of maturity. He hadn't, he hadn't really grown to, to the point where he was just like, you know what? You know what I mean? It, I got bigger things to worry about than fools um, trying to make me look bad, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's unfortunate, dog, but, but with, with, um, with not experiencing maturity, you lose a lot, you know what I mean? Like if you don't experience, if you don't, if you don't let yourself go through that that phase in your life where you're maturing and learning and getting wisdom, like you you, you come up short. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, me and Bo Deal. I don't know if you know who Bo Deal is, mm -hmm. but he's like a, a older dude out of Chicago mm -hmm. that you know he has a lot of love in yeah. the streets. And um, and we were talking about it. You know that. You know sometimes the dude. You know they'll come. They'll be out the hood. And they'll get famous, they'll get money, mm -hmm. and it's just not that easy to just turn off who you've no, been. No, it's not, bro. For 10, 15, 20 it's years. Not. Yep. It's not easy to change, change who you are. Like, that come with time and with wisdom, you know what I'm saying? Like, it took me a long time. If I was that, that young, with, with all that money and all this power, the shit that we was doing back then at, at, at 26, I was I was running a mob at 26. So if you gave me more money, I'm gonna figure out how to get more money still running this mob and doing what the fuck we doing. You feel like you're on top of the world. You know what I'm saying? You young, you rich, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, it's hard to, to turn it off. You know, that come with, with, with time. And who's to say we all learn at different different speeds and at different times. You know what I'm saying? It takes certain situations to make some people change their life life it might be you know some tragic happen that make you change yours or it might be jail that make you change yours or it may just be the maturity of wanting to live for for your children or, or to make your family happy that make you want to change like it have to be something that that warrants that change you know what i'm saying something that we deem important enough to to want to change you know absolutely um i just went through that I just had that moment of clarity myself, you know. Um, obviously, my homeboy Stomper died, and then I just lost another little homie, like, this week also, you know. Um, it's been less than a week since my little homie died. And, um, you know, your initial instinct, like, you know, like, you know how some people say, oh, I have a drug problem, I have a drinking problem. Well, a lot of us have a street problem, you know. We don't know how to, um, we're addicted to the streets and the lifestyle, you know what I'm saying. And it's very easy to relapse, you know what I mean. 
You can be a very successful dude. You can have a lot of opportunities in front of you. You can have a lot of potential. But the minute something real, real happens, you don't even notice it, dog. You transition right back into the old you. You know what I mean? Out of, out of um, I think it's, it's just instinct, bro. You know what I mean? Like, um, um, as a matter of fact, today, when I called you randomly to do this interview, it's because I wanted to get the fuck out the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, due to the incidents that have been happening in my neighborhood lately, we've been there a lot. You know what I mean? And I'm one of them dudes that thinks that I have to show face, you know, because um, I carry so much influence and I have the ability to um, share so much love. You know what I mean? So when, when people die, like, I feel, I feel like if I'm around, the people in mourning feel stronger. You know what I mean? I feel like I have the ability to uplift them and feel protected. But um, with that position comes a cost, my boy. You know what I mean? You're putting yourself out there and you're making yourself vulnerable to a lot of other shit. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, with maturity, thank God, like, um, I, I sat back for a minute and I just, you know, I, I pressed pause on myself and I told myself, like, you know what, like, this isn't what's kept you out so long, you know what I mean? This behavior isn't what's made you successful, you know what I mean? And what's um, brought, fruit, brought to fruit all these valuable things you have now, your family, your career, your music, all this shit, you know what I mean? Um, it's time to press pause and, 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 and go back to your program, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, I think that... Um, you know, it's, it's about poise, you know? This shit comes with a lot of poise. It's like, it's like, a, it's like any other career, any, any other goal. When you put yourself out there like that and you become, a, you become a, a presence, you know what I mean? You gotta understand that you're magnifying the hate towards yourself and you're magnifying the losses towards yourself. Just like you magnify the wins and the success, you know what I mean? Your failures sadly are gonna magnify 10 times even more. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, you, you got to come to grasp with that and understand that, man. But it's very hard. You know what I mean? It's hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's hard for a lot of rappers, you know, especially when you know? they're young, you know, and they get money. Yeah. You know, and it's just it's like. It's another high, man. Yeah. It's you know? a high. And when you're young, full of testosterone, bro, and full of ego, like, you're on top of the mountain, boy, you know what I mean? And you're looking down at everybody, but you fail to realize there is no mountain. You're on level playing field, you know what I mean? Um, if you're not moving right, you know what I'm saying? And, and even worse, like, everybody knows exactly who you are and where you're from now, you know what I mean? So it's no question, you know? It's no, it's no hitting you up. It's just aim and shoot, you know what I mean? The, 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 the advantages are just gone, bro, you know what I mean? So, um, it, it, you know, I think it's like... Um, I think that they have this thing for rookies now in the NBA where they, where they have like a training boot camp on how to, how to survive outside the NBA, mm. you know, invest money. They need to do that shit for, you know, young rappers that really come up, that hit that shit. They need to have mentors that really step in and pull them to the side and be like, yo, this is what you're going to do, this is what you need to do, and, and you need to figure it out fast, you know what I mean? Um, because a lot of us don't have it, you know what I'm saying? Um, most of us don't have it, you know? Got to figure it out yourself. You mentioned being a target. Yeah. I interviewed a dude out of Memphis called Big Boogie, mm -hmm. and he was saying, you know, pretty much like if you're a rapper, like, and you blow up, like, yeah. you, you pretty much got to move out of your city. Once you're a rapper, you forever a target. Forever. You can't, even, you can't do nothing in the open no more. You can't be you in private. Well, you can't be you in public. You got to be, you got to live your life in private now, unless you go to another city. Yeah, for sure. Because you're just like you're done. You know. Yeah, you're done. Either the, either the, either law enforcement, either the temptation of women, either the temptation of making illegal money, either the temptation of, of of fucking um being out there. You know what I'm saying? And making yourself vulnerable to the enemies is just like it's too big, dog. You know what I mean? Like you gotta leave. It's it's it comes with the territory. You gotta bounce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not safe for you once no. everybody knows your face, mm -hmm. knows where you're from, knows everything. I mean, yeah, but you become a trophy. You know? every, every little gunner wants that stripe. Every little gunner wants that notch. Everybody wants to say, like, I'm the one that smoked old boy. You know what I mean? Like, and, and they're willing to sacrifice everything for that when they're young. You know what I mean? They're willing to sacrifice life in prison. They're willing to sacrifice their whole life for it, you know? Yeah, it's real shit. Yeah, for sure. Real shit.